Scanning. Say, Edith. Stand by for retinol and biometric scan. Whoa. Now that you've finished viewing, let's see if you're actually paying attention. Cool. Obviously, I sensed them, but check out some cool moments you may have missed in Spider-Man Far From Home. What, are we fighting the weather now? Locals say the cyclone had a face. Cyclone made his appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 143. Cyclone fans. Well, we're gonna be so happy. Cyclone is their favorite villain. You should pack your suit just in case. I have a tingle about it. Please stop saying tingle, May. When Peter was packing for his trip, did you notice the initials on his suitcase? This is a reference to the character Ben Parker, also known as Uncle Ben. Peter always keeps his friends and family close to him wherever he goes. These know. When Peter's class was in Venice, there were a few familiar faces in the background. Did you see Quentin Beck? It's the best thing Italy ever created, except for maybe espresso. And here you have Guterman, one of Beck's crew. You might need to watch the background next time. Will do. Oh my god! Searching database for more information on Hydra Man. The kids are back at the hostel watching the news of the water monster attack. Flash says... There's a sailor named Morris Bench who was exposed to an experimental underwater generator and got hydro powers. Yeah, you should definitely believe everything you read on the internet. Morris Bench is Hydra Man in the comics. He made his first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 212. Throughout Peter's trip, there are hidden references to Marvel comic book writers. Creative minds, including J.M. DeMatteis. Look at our upgraded ride! As well as Dan Slott, Roger Stern, Jerry Conway, Brian Michael Bendis, and David Michelini are some of the many writers who have contributed to the development of the Spider-Man comics. Yeah. Awesome. There's tons of visual Easter eggs throughout the movie. Agent Fury's license plate references the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 28, published in 1965. This is the first appearance of Molten Man. I need a suit. Suit? With Happy's help and Tony's workshop, Peter channeled his inner Stark to spark a brand new black and red suit. Bring up everything you have on Spider-Man. Do you know how many variations for Spider-Man suits exist? It was an homage to Iron Man 1. I actually was watching a specific scene from that film, trying to mimic Robert's movements as exact as I could. It was a real nice detail that John and I came up with. For the real hardcore fans, they're really, really going to appreciate that acknowledgement and respect to the godfather of the MCU. Hey, how's it hanging? Woo! Take a closer look at those billboards. The numbers represent that the Marvel Cinematic Universe phases one through three are now complete. Marvel Studios is excited to show you what comes next. You're gonna love this. <laughs> There's a really big surprise at the very end of the movie that ties Spider-Man and all of our Spider-Mans back to the original. Brace yourselves, you might want to sit out. J.K. Simmons reprises his role as Daily Bugle editor-in-chief J. Jonah Jameson. There's more references than I probably even know off the top of my head. There's lots of Easter eggs to the future of what my Spider-Man might become. That was only a percentage of hidden moments in Spider-Man Far From Home. Did you scan anything else? Don't see any. You missed him. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the f-